Hey there, this is Morgan here at Caster Concepts, new sales rep for the Northeast region. You know, often I'll get a customer over the phone ask me, what does this wheel part number mean? How can I decipher this? Well, today I got the answers right here. So exhibit A on your graphic, you'll find the diameter of the wheel. Usually for our customers, that could be described as the height of the wheel. Um, it can range anywhere from a couple inches to a couple feet. And it just all has to do with your application. If you got something really heavy, you know, floating around a couple tens of thousands of pounds, you'll want a bigger wheel. If you got something that's maybe 500 pounds, you'll, you won't need a bigger wheel. You could go for something a couple inches. In exhibit B, you will find the width of the wheel. You know, with our Twergos, they're an inch. Um, they could be dual wheel inches, so a couple inches wide. But it all has to do with your application, and we'll help you figure that out for you. Exhibit C, you will find the ball bearing type. This can vary from, you know, precision ball bearings to roller bearings to precision tapered bearings. We work really hard with our customers to try to retrofit them with the right products, and that includes ball bearing types. So if you're looking for something with a much more free rolling range, then you would go with a straight roller bearing. If you're looking for something a little more compact, a little more sturdy, then you might go with a precision tapered. But then again, it all has to do with your application. Exhibit D, you'll find the wheel material. And this can range from phenolic resins to polyurethanes on all different kind of hardness scales and even uh, mold on rubber or uh, steel wheels. Are you trying to save the floor? Are you trying to get the most ergonomic fix? Um, a lot of questions that we would ask over the phone and it really just has to do with your preference. And then exhibit E, you'll find the bore size. So the bore size is very simple. It's just, um, you know, what size of the uh, wheel hole does the bearing go into? Um, it can range anywhere from, you know, a half inch to a couple inches. And it, once again, just has to do with your application. If you're interested in more of these, make sure you check out our YouTube channel. They're posted all the time.